In this video we will learn how a magnetic storage memory, especially a computer hard disk drive works. And how data stays safe for a long period of time. Let's understand all this in a practical way. We all know that a magnet attracts magnetic material like iron permanently. As you can see, we have an iron blade. It has no magnetic properties, and it does not attract. We attach this iron blade to a permanent magnet once and see what happens. Viewers, as soon as we put it close to the iron nails, it attracted them. That means the magnetic properties have come into this blade as well. Let's expand the experiment. We know that when wires are wrapped around an iron rod and current is passed in that wire, the rod between the wires also turns into a temporary magnet. And all its properties are the same as a magnet. It is a magnet as long as the current passes. And as soon as the current is switched off, its magnetic properties also disappear. Take the experiments further. We have another iron blade. It has no magnetic properties. But when we attach it with a temporary electric magnet, it also turns into a magnet. From these experiments we have learned that any magnet, be it temporary or permanent, when iron comes in its magnet field that iron also magnetized and turns into a magnet. If the magnet changes its direction, iron also magnetized in corresponding direction. We use an iron disc instead of this iron blade. We divide this disc into 8 parts so that we can store 8 bits on it. We know that one byte is consists of 8 bits. We will make one byte of hard disk. We rotate the disk with the help of a motor. Let's put a stand with it. With the help of stand we put a read write head on it which is a coil. Let's save our data on it. This is our data. Let's save it to disk now. If the first bit is 1, then we magnetize that part of the disk by giving current in one direction. The next bit is 0, then we magnetize this part by giving current in the reverse direction. The next bit is 1. The next bit is 1. The next bit is 0. The next bit is 1. The next bit is 0. The next bit is also 1. We have permanently stored our data on the disk by magnetizing the 8 parts of the disk. But how will the data be read from it now? Reading data is even more interesting. Let's learn another concept first. We have a voltmeter. We will connect it with the coil. That we use earlier to write data. It is a permanent magnet. If we move the magnet to the coil, the needle moves forward. Look again, the needle moves forward. But if we change the direction of the magnet, then the needle moves backwards. We can interpret it as showing the 1 when the needle moves forward and 0 when the needle moves backwards. We connect this voltmeter to the coil head. Increase disk speed a bit, meter moving back and forth due to the magnet passing under it. As the current in the coil is constantly changing its direction, the needle of the meter is also moving back and forth. 0 or 1 is determined from the same direction of current. In a computer hard disk, it saves 0 or 1 by magnetizing a particular part of the hard disk, which is later identified with the help current that they produce. If we open a hard disk drive and look inside it, we only see one metal disk. We hope you understand how a hard disk works. At the end, we just expect you to like the video. Thanks for watching YouTube channel.